And when you were sitting on that block, you were just looking at deaths and people shot and stabbed. And if the ghost of all that could come out, you'd be suffocated. Hey, can you hear the sound of hysteria? Where the game is the baddest game in the city? No. The subliminal mind fuck America. Gaylord is the last American street game. There'll never be a fucking American pro American street game, is it? America and beer, man. And Gaylord. That's what it's about. Well, maybe I'm the faggot America. I'm not a part of a redneck agenda. Now everybody to the propaganda. Oh, oh, oh. And sing along to the edge of paranoia. My name is Anthony Annarino. They call me Johnny Boy. I grew up in uh, Grand Anagon area, Little Italy, Sicily, 1956. I was 16 years old. We played softball, 16-inch clincher. We were exactly 37 guys originally that grew up in the neighborhood strong. As time went by, we wound up with about 90. We still didn't have a club until 1958. Wound up on Euron. And no boat. My name is Anthony Butcher. Uh, my nickname was Butch. I was a Gaylor from uh, around 1975 to around 1985. Um, this place we're standing at right now, this corner is the motherland. This is the birth of, of the Gaylords. As a kid, um, I heard rumors, stories about this place. Uh, we looked up to the guys that started this club and we tried to keep it honorable and loyal in our club. We needed to know what we wanted to call ourselves. Well, one of my combatties, my buddy, Bobby Shipball, he was my right-hand man in uh, anywhere we went. And uh, he decided, uh, what about uh, the Gaylord? But an Italian Gaylord is uh, its a rough name. There's a lot of meanings for it. Uh, when you hear the gay, it's not gay, it's a Gaylord. It's, there's a different pronunciation, and uh, it, it means strong, strength. We decided on what emblem. Okay, one guy came up, it wasn't bad. I didn't like it because it was the skull, the top hat, the cane, pair of gloves, and uh, snake eyes. Too hoodie-ish. At the time, we meant hoodie-ish, you're a hood. We decided on the cross. We liked the, the emblem, we had it designed and fixed and put on. Now the coppers told us, you gotta have a permit. Cost us eight bucks. Now I'm paying $35 to keep it up. So nobody can open the club. If I catch them, I close them down because they're not a gay lord. And anybody says they're a gay lord and they're from out of state, they're not a gay lord. They took over our name. And you ought to be ashamed of themselves because you gotta be sworn in here. There's no jumping on anybody or anything. If you're in a working condition, you're in good health, and you don't like uh, uh, to play with young girls and funny shit, you're in. Everybody votes, uh, we like the guy, you come in a party. This is the way we operate it. I get back here at this, another sleepless night dismissed. It might take a day to get back and figure out what I missed. How'd I get back here at this, the knuckles white clenched in the fist. I might need a day to get back and figure out what I missed. But again, a lot of us were... A lot of us were kind of outcasts, you know. We weren't, we weren't the, the jocks. We weren't the, you know, in the, in the science club or anything like that. We didn't fit in with anyone. We sort of wound up finding each other, you know. The one thing about the Gaylord's rights was we were accepting. If you were American and you were going to fight for your neighborhood, yeah, you know, and it was just, it was and we just stuck, a bunch and we of stuck kids. together.